Well, tell me about this guitar. I'm, I'm pretty simple. I usually find a guitar and that's all I play. Right, right. <laughs> so, um, I got this maybe six, eight years ago from uh, Galadriel, Dwayne Almond's daughter, and they did a, a short run of these uh, copies of Dwayne's SG. And there's just something about this piece of wood, super light. Um, I kind of bounce between this and I have a signature SG, which was um, based on a guitar I played for maybe a decade or so. Yeah. And so it's really just the two guitars. Um, occasionally I'll play a Les Paul, old vintage Les Paul, but um, the, the two SGs seem to work well. I, yeah. I enjoy those. Yeah. Now what gauge strings do you, do you run? Uh, 11, 14, 17, 26, 36, 46. So kind wow. of a right. little mix match. And in, usually in E, e tuning? Almost always, yeah. 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 Man, I've seen you, I've seen you live break a string, and those are thick strings to break, <laughs> and I think you've just played with your fingers. Yeah. So, you know, how the hell, man? Because <laughs> well, I've seen you, and I saw you in a video break a string. When so. you got a rhythm section like that behind you, you feel like you're being chased down, so <laughs> sometimes you just start ripping strings. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Like, it's usually a good night when you're breaking strings. Yeah. <laughs> or you can't hear, it's one of the right, two. Right, right. <laughs> so, tell me about this guitar, the, uh, is it uh, just PAF type pickups in yeah, it? Yeah, uh, it, it is, and you know, I'm not super picky about those things. I mean, you know if you get a guitar, before you plug it in, how it speaks, you know? Yeah. So, and, and this one, uh, it's, it's a really light piece of wood. I found most, most of the time, if you go through five or six guitars, the lightest one is probably gonna sound better. I don't know if it's older wood or drier, right. but they seem, to, they seem to speak a little bit better. And this is maybe the lightest SG I've found. I have, huh. I have one other of the signature guitars I have that uh, is a super light piece of wood, and that thing, that thing barks too. Um, well, so but, did you like cherry pick, go through the line of them and say, of, yeah, that just one. lift <laughs> yeah. 10 of them, I like, yeah. I want that light one. Sell those ones, <laughs> <That's true. laughs> I'll take this one. And it, it's funny because you, you know, we'll go check out vintage stores sometimes and usually the cleanest instruments that you find are usually the heavier ones. And I was like, that's because no one played that thing. <laughs> the right. reason it's clean. Right. The ones that are all road worn, they're the ones that usually sound the best. Yeah. The ones that got put under people's beds were... Yeah. Usually not the players. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Uh, so a lot, a lot of readers got online and asked about your setup. Can you tell a little bit about, about it? I mean, I, I set mine up about as low as possible to play slide. Really? Yeah, so it's, it, it's lighter than people usually think, but I generally crank down the, the tailpiece all the way to the, to the body, so that, that maybe gives you a little more stiffness for the slide, but I, I like keeping it pretty playable so when yeah. you're not using a slide it's not a problem but that you know that comes down to you have to have the right touch when you are playing slide or you're right. just rattling the whole time yeah yeah but, you know the, one of the things with an sg though you you are as much as we play and as much as we're on the road you're, you're constantly kind of tweaking things you know right you're, you're always watching the neck to make sure it's not moving and um you know especially indoor outdoor shows the weather is always changing so you have to you're you're always chasing it just like a tube amp yeah yeah isn't that funny like yeah. a guitar you don't look at for a while and it's like it's you pick it up like what yeah, what happened, happened? To you? <laughs> <laughs> but i enjoy that the ones that stay at home seem to they seem to live in a spot they settle in but when, when you're on the road man you got to watch it yeah <laughs> get away from you right now what kind of slide do you uh play with? uh just a chorus seed and bottle oh, really yeah jim the dunlop actual... will make well i used to use those but uh they're Most of the real ones, and they have a seam in them, so you have right. to. So uh, Dunlop makes uh, makes Blue's us bottle, one, right? Yeah, yeah. And they they do a signature slide that's the right weight, so I, I go through a lot of those. You meet a lot of young musicians on the road, young guitar players, and often I don't carry picks around, so I give my slide away a lot. <laughs> Our guitar tech's like, man, we're running out. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta save yeah. those things. Slow down on picks, the... man. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have bags full of them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Still sorting that out. Yeah.